lumbosacral epidural anesthesia. With the dog under general anesthesia, a large square is clipped over the lumbosacral region of the spinal column whilst the dog is in sternal recumbency. This position enables the use of the hanging drop technique, however this technique may not be evident in cats and small dogs. Next this region is prepped in the same manner as for a surgical intervention using alcohol and a disinfectant. Here you can see all the materials for the placement of an epidural catheter. The anesthetist will put on the surgical gloves in a sterile manner using an open glove technique. Taking a closer look at the TUI needle, you can see the graduated markings on the needle to allow you to measure the depth of insertion. The lumen of the needle exits on its side. There is a stellate inside the TUI needle to prevent the material entering the needle during its insertion. The anesthetist has prepared a syringe of local anesthetic that contains a bubble of air. The bubble of air can be used to detect resistance during the injection. With the sterile drape already in place, the anesthetist will palpate the dorsal spinous processes of L7 and S1 as well as the wings of the ilia. The side of the needle insertion is between L7 and S1 where the space is the largest between the vertebrae. An 18 gauge or 20 gauge TUI needle is inserted perpendicular to the skin with the dominant hand. The non-dominant hand can palpate the various layer marks at the same time to help visualise the anatomical structures. The needle is advanced through the subcutaneous tissues and the interspinous ligament. The stilette of the TUI needle is removed with the non-dominant hand and the needle hub is filled with sterile saline when using the hanging drop technique. The needle is further advanced until there is a loss of resistance felt. At this point the ligament flavum has been punctured and the needle is in the epidural space. The puncture of the ligament flavum will produce a marked pop sensation. The drop is usually aspirated into the epidural space because of the negative pressure found within the epidural space. This supports the confirmation of correct needle placement. A false negative may arise when the tip of the needle enters in between two fascial planes thus creating a small degree of suction at the tip of the needle. The needle may have to be gently readjusted and repositioned during the puncture if bony structures are felt or if blood or cerebrospinous fluid is observed in the needle hub. The syringe with preservative free medication is connected to the needle. The small air bubble in the syringe is used to assess loss of resistance during the injection. This air bubble should not be compressed during the administration of the injectate. The volume injected is 0.2 milliliters per kilo up to 6 milliliters. A slow injection is important to achieve a homogeneous distribution of drug within the epidural space. This also minimizes the amount of leaking through the intervertebral foramina and avoids sudden changes in intracranial pressure. Epidural injection should not be performed if there is a skin infection at the puncture site. Other contraindications for this technique include coagulation disorders, spinal cord trauma, hypovolemia and septicemia.